Hey everyone and welcome to Chet Chat, one of the largest online career and education talk shows. And I'm your host Chetna. And today we've brought you in to the BML Munjal University, which is situated in Gurgaon, a short while away from New Delhi, the capital of India. And I'm going to take you into this beautiful 50-acre campus that houses a school of engineering and technology, a school of management and a school of economics and commerce. And there are some really good reasons why I think you should watch this video right till the end because we are going to talk to them about some special programs that they've launched especially for you. For example, specialization in data science, IoT, robotics, artificial intelligence and much more. Also their special BBA and MBA programs with a study abroad opportunity at Imperial College in London. We're going to talk about the admission procedure, the fee structures and also some scholarships on offer. We're also going to discuss their placements, the internships, the kinds of companies the students got placements in, the research projects that they got through this campus and lots and lots more. So stay with me while I take you right into the campus but before that don't forget the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it and give us a thumbs up if you like our work and chalo let's go into BML Munjal University With every passing year BMU has opened up so many windows of opportunity for all the students be it organizing events or conducting them or participating in them and that is solely different from the courses that BMU offers so with participation you get to learn so much and you groom entirely yeah and uh, now let's talk about the courses that BMU offers these courses are not only only linked to the curriculum but also skill and perspective courses we had this etiquette and conversational skills course ECS and that course helped me uh, learn how to behave and conduct myself everywhere so we recently inaugurated a incubation and innovation center so i am actually founder and ceo of a startup here and we are into disruptive clothing and the best part was that all the faculties were very collaborative in, in a sense that they were all up for mentoring i love the campus it's lush green it's peaceful and it's quiet and i love staying here i got a chance to uh, be the placement coordinator and the student ambassador so it kind of um, build in uh, leadership qualities in me the faculty mentors they are uh, like quite friendly and they kind of give a direction to me as to where i have to go in life i am in my mba first year and uh, the most unique thing that i found about this program is that the experience and exposure that this program provides to us the courses that are taught to us are very relevant to what is actually going to be useful for us in the corporates this something in bmu which like really inspires you to make something so in each semester we have a course that we have to make a hands on project so you try thinking in a more integrated way how you can bring all the concepts that you are being taught into one single project and that really helped me in getting my internship too bmu has actually given me opportunities to develop myself holistically i have a lot of courses uh, for my uh, development of my soft skills like uh, leadership uh, etiquette uh, problem solving and communication skills dr arora thank you so much for inviting us to your beautiful campus my pleasure and at the outset congratulations for the business world education award that you won yesterday Thank you very much. A very yeah. prestigious award of for course. such a young university. Steve. Thank you. Thank you very much. And talking about the university from the student's perspective, let's look at some of the approvals because they always have these questions, you know, what mm -hmm. sort of approvals mm -hmm. are there in place? BML Munjal University is backed by Hero Group. We are a private university established by the act of Haryana government as per the UGC guidelines. All yeah, degrees, degrees are fully recognized. whenever students are looking for various options the first reaction would be oh i should go to iits and iits <laughs> iims and so on maybe top 1% or 1.5% get into nits iits right. iims but rest of them are also good yes so if they can get similar kind of education which is available in iits and iits and iims i can say that with grit that we have fantastic infrastructure which is world class we have highly qualified faculty 
90 to 95 percent of the faculty members are PhDs and have a lot of experience, not only PhDs, not only from the country, but from abroad, like Kansas University, uh, Michigan, and so on. The whole campus is on Wi Fi, it's a digital campus. We have flipped classroom concept in place. We believe in blended learning. So, 30 years I have spent in IIT Roorkee, and uh, in many of the areas, the labs are better than what IITs and other institutes have. Right. So I want to pick those students who can really enjoy this kind mm. of infrastructure. Mm. Now for that, uh, they have to be different right. than the crowd. Mm. Now to know that difference, I'm not taking admissions just on the basis of JEE mains ranks. Right. Okay. okay, for example, or only the CAT score on, or only the CLAT score. Okay, We take 50% of the score and then rest 50% we do personal interviews. I would not say interviews but interaction. Just to get to know that what is that X factor mm. which the students are having other than their academics. But I think so, that's a great opportunity for them because sometimes they have a lot of talent in them but it doesn't get reflected in that one score at correct, the end of the day. Correct and you are very right. <laughs> now we test on each and everything their communication skills, their logical reasoning, their quantitative ability and, and at times we, uh, we test their computing skills also. Okay. From next year, we, we are admitting them into different specializations which are data sciences and artificial intelligence, wow. uh, cyber security, IoT, uh, Internet of Things, robotics, smart cities and sustainable development, automobile engineering. There's this very interesting program that you have, which is a BSc in economics. And I was curious to know about that because usually economics tends to be a BA, a BA program. The focus in this particular program is to increase the econometric content. Mm -hmm. Why are we doing this? We're doing this because we want to finally create more uh, employability. Work, let's say, in think tanks, work in banks, uh, corporate houses, work in consultancies. We use a lot of technology, whether that be gaming, whether that be blended learning, whether that be role playing, whether that be simulations. Currently, School of Engineering and Technology is offering uh, engineering programs in, that is BTEC four-year programs in five disciplines. So that is BTEC Computer Science, BTEC Computer Science and Engineering, then BTEC in Electronics and Communication Engineering, BTEC in Mechanical Engineering, and BTEC in civil engineering. So now in each of these disciplines, we are trying to introduce some specializations for the students. Right. Okay. So first two years, it may be common to all of them. For computer science and engineering, we are doing it with data analytics and AI right. and cyber security. Right. Yeah, and, the, and IoT is for electronics and communication okay. engineering students, okay. very specifically. Okay. Okay. And for mechanical students, we are doing it with automobile engineering and robotics, robotics. and automation. Okay. For civil engineering students, we are doing the smart cities and sustainability and also construction management for civil students. And it was very interesting when I was going through your website the academic collaboration that you have with Imperial College London. Mm -hmm. I also read about some collaborations that you've had with UC Berkeley and Kent State and a few other universities. So could you share something about this with us? Imperial College, as you know, is a top 10 um, you know, worldwide yes. institution. They've helped us from day zero to be able to create a more robust curriculum. All my MBA um, students, when they finish their first year, they actually travel to Imperial College wow. uh, and they study certain courses over there. Mm -hmm. We've noticed a definite transformation you know, in them uh, post that. It all helps the employability aspect. We recently launched uh, a Center for Inclusive Innovation and this Center for Inclusive Innovation will work rather closely with the Gandhi Center for um, uh, Inclusive Innovation, which is part of the Imperial College. As far as other relationships are concerned, you have talked about uh, the Berkeley FICE program. We have a relationship with Aston. We have a relationship with uh, universities in America, in Germany. And the reason why we have these relationships is not only to be able to create research exchanges, faculty exchanges, uh, in exchange of thought, uh, them contributing in our executive programs, for example, or in normal um, course teaching here. But it is also uh, to be able to enable students to actually go there for semester exchanges. We have a tie-up with Carlton University Canada where mm. they are going to set up a cyber security kind of thing. Right. Similarly, we are in, uh, in discussions with Microsoft for data analytics and AI. Okay. We have IoT collaboration with Intel. Okay. For example, when it comes to robotics and automation, through Siemens, we have set up seven labs 
where all robotic robotics lab is there me- mechatronics automation hydraulics pneumatics nice. and similarly for automobile engineering we have a hero training lab as well as the shell lab we not only have an internship program at the end of um, the first year going into the second year but we also have live project facilitation which means that students sitting here in the campus can work along with organizations even if they can't physically be there with mm-hmm. them brings me to my next question about placements would you talk about your last batch perhaps and the kind of jobs that they got maybe you know just a little bit about the average salaries etc about 84 to 85% of the batch is already placed the median packages um, currently are at about 8.2 to about 8.4 lakhs they find themselves working in many different organizations so the hero motor corp of course kpmg whether that be axis bank btvs uh, motors been consulting whether that be in analyst roles whether that be in analytics in marketing roles uh, sales roles that's a great sort of third batch achievement that you've made so professor vinayak one of the questions that the students typically tends to have is about hands on experience yes. uh, whether it's with companies in the form of internship or whether it's research projects so tell us a little bit about what you would offer to students here uh, we have designed our curriculum with three internships for the btech program so these are mandatory internships and which are facilitated by the university so the first internship is within the first year mm. or end of the first year where the student would be visiting five different industries and at the end of the second year in the summer term again the student will be mandatorily going to the industry mm. where they would be spending like 6 to 8 weeks where again they will be doing some projects but they understand how to work in the teams because that we do practice from the day one in the courses also in the final year again like one full semester four and a half to five months the student has to be in the industry now he will be actually contributing to the industry mm. so that's why even our ps3 students are getting some stipend so it ranges from thousands to even up to like 30 35000 mm. so and some of the companies who have recruited are asking them to join so right. they are doing internship along with that job, job training and when it comes to the research projects when it goes to the next second and third years where even we have a special courses called core projects where you will be doing a project with the faculty on a specialized research topic okay okay so now for example uh, for computer science students we have good high performance computer here recently we procured it so when i scan the document so how to extract the text from the document how do i extract how the table read from the document from the picture okay, so okay. you have to read pixel by pixel right. which requires high amount of computing so this is by through using the deep learning technique mm. by our hpc computers the students are doing some projects currently the fee structure for the new batch coming in it ranges between 13 to about 13 and a half lakhs per or for the full two for years for the full course okay. for the full two year course uh, this um, obviously includes um, the imperial hmm. immersion as well right and it's a reasonable number because the iims that are, are at about 20 odd and isb hyderabad is about 35 odd mm-hmm. so for year approximately the tuition fee will be around 12 lakh in addition to that because since it is a residential program depending on the type of the hostel they select their room the boarding and lodging charges will be applicable so if you are a high performer as far as your for example a cat uh, percentile score is concerned beyond a certain level if you've scored let's say above 95 96 97 98 percentile um automatically you're eligible for um a scholarship there are other scholarships uh, that are offered in tandem with hero motor corp so for example we have a hamari pari scholarship uh, meant for um, women students we have another scholarship called the e2 which also is uh, essentially meant for merit based um, you know scholarship facilitation we have excellent scholarship schemes for school of engineering and technology students uh, for example a student who scores je 25000 or less rank okay okay we'll give them 100% tuition fee waiver Oh. as well as the lodging charges are free wow. only has to pay only boarding charges okay okay so if the student scores below 50000 rank then we give them like 75% of the tuition fee waiver on both tuition fee plus the lodging charges mm-hmm. and if it is less than 75000 then we will provide them 50% on tuition fee as well as 50% on the lodging this scholarship is applicable for all four years subjected to they meet certain requirements at the end of the every year 
Absolutely. You spoke about a lot of facilities, the infrastructure, the extracurriculars, the X factor, like you said, the extracurriculars that the students can engage in once they are on mm -hmm. campus. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are having 21 clubs and technical societies. Mm -hmm. Each student is expected to be a member of at least one of these clubs and the societies. Okay. In fact, in the next curricula, I am going to make these co-curricular activities also as credited. Uh, besides that, we are part of NSS, National Social Services Scheme of Government of India. We are looking for NCC unit also here mm -hmm. on this campus. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a very good sports facility. Uh, all our uh, play fields are floodlit. In fact, our director of sports is an, is an Olympian. Hey, and thanks for watching right till the end. And if you have any questions, put everything down in the comment section under the video. All our contact details as well are given in the description box under the video. And don't forget that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it. And give us a thumbs up if you like our work. And happy watching!